Hey guys, Lewis here from SwapHelper.com, Nintech Corp, uh, with a video on how to upgrade your helper products. Uh, for instance, a cluster helper, column helper, headlight helper, so on and so forth. Not all our products are field upgradable, like the TAC helper um, or the grid heater helper or uh, some of those, um, but uh, some of the products are. And so we just want to give you a quick video um, since we are releasing an update for the uh, 9901 cluster helper. Um, so we're going to jump on the laptop and show you how to plug in, all that kind of good stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, so now I'm on the GoPro. Uh, you can see I have the laptop here. I have the uh, USB cable uh, that's connected to the cluster helper, which in the instructions said that you should put it somewhere where you can gain access to it. Um, so uh, you'll set this off to the side for now. We're gonna go through a couple of steps before you plug it in, um, and then uh, we'll go from there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the laptop uh, and uh, walk you through the process of getting prepared for the update. Okay, so now we're on the laptop. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to swaphelper.com, which you can see we've got uh, uh, pulled up here. Um, and then you'll go to instructions. In this case, uh, we're gonna do the cluster helper today, but in, this is applicable to any of our field upgradable products, such as the column helper, obviously the cluster helper, headlight helper, etc. Okay, so now we're on the instructions page. Scroll down, you're going to want to download the Windows Diagnostic software and you're going to want to download the latest Flash. And you notice this is 1002, 9901, 1002. This is the original Flash file in case you would like to go back to the original if there's some functionality that you don't like in the new uh, release or something like that. So go ahead and click on that. So now we have those two files. So we'll minimize that. We're going to open up our downloads. So I'm going to take these two. And I'm going to copy them and I'm going to put them on the desktop. Okay, then I'm going to right click uh, on the cluster helper diag tool, go to extract all, we'll extract it onto the desktop. Move that out of the way for a second. Now we'll extract the flash, extract all. Okay, so now you have that there. Okay, now before we plug anything in, you're gonna to wanna to install the drivers. So you'll double click on that. If it gives you a, uh, you know, yes or no, do you wanna open this? The answer is yes. Uh, go ahead and extract all. Next, accept, next. And then you should get to this point where everything's ready to use. Now you can go ahead and hit finish. Okay, now at this point, you're going to take the uh, USB cable and you're going to plug it into your laptop or computer. Now again, this has to be done on a Windows laptop. Our software is written for Microsoft Windows. It's uh, not for Macintosh. Okay, now we have that open, or now that we have that plugged in, uh, we're going to open up the Cluster Helper Diag tool. Now, uh, when you go to open it, if you see this, it's because we haven't digitally signed uh, the executable. Uh, it's no big deal if you're concerned about it. You can run a virus scan on it. You'll see everything's fine. You go to more info and then you can hit run anyway. And this is Windows 10, so you may not get that with Windows 8 or 7. Okay, um, now you can see we have COM10 here. If you had multiple COM ports, it's probably going to be the lowest one on, on the list, um, numerically the highest. So uh, if you had COM1 and 2 and then you had COM10, you'd select COM10. That's most likely going to be uh, the one that it is since we just plugged it in. You go to go ahead and hit connect. Okay, and then um, you'll see here we have version 9901.1001. <clears throat> you can see all the metrics there. So what we're gonna do is select update file. You're gonna navigate to the desktop. We're gonna go to the 9901 cluster helper. We're gonna select the SWP file here, 9901 uh, cluster helper. And then it's 9901.1002. So we'll go ahead and take that open and then send update okay then your cluster is going to shut off it may make some dings and noises as it just just like that that's normal um, as it's shutting down and then uh, once the update is complete then the cluster will come back to life you see all the metrics are there uh, everything's back up and running okay
So now if you take a look at the version, now we're running version 9901.1002. Um, so that means that the upgrade was successful and now we are running the latest flash. So at this point you can go ahead and hit disconnect, close it out. You're welcome to delete those files if you uh, don't think you'll need them. Uh, and um, uh, now we'll switch back so that you can see the cluster and we can take a look at what changed. Okay, so the update is completed. I have disconnected the laptop. Um, and uh, now you'll notice that when we flash the blinkers, it sounds identical to the newer trucks. Uh, we also added in this particular release um, smoothing on the uh, temperatures. You see that's nice and stable. Um, there's some stuff for the 11 to 16 trucks to put the range sensor into the M or manual position as opposed to staying in park all the time. Uh, it's all uh, noted on, on our blog post and uh, on our website. So uh, if you have any questions about how to do your update, uh, feel free to shoot us an email. Contact at swaphelper.com. We're here to help. Uh, we look forward to continuing to release updates for these products and releasing additional products. Thank you for your time.